Hey you guys, it's Barbara DeJour and you're watching Noted TV. Today we have Lexi Brown from Duke University and we're just going to ask her a few questions and then we'll play a few games. Hi, this is Lexi Brown, and you're watching Noted TV. Being a transfer from Maryland, what about Duke grabbed your attention? Um, definitely the academics. Um, going from Maryland, they were a big-time program, top five teams um, in the country when I was there. Got to Final Fours. Um, so, you know, going basketball was important, but, you know, to leave a program like that, there had to be a little um, something extra. That, that was at my new school, and for Duke, it was definitely the academics. Also, the environment. Um, it's a much smaller school. Um, the professors are, you know, it's a more intimate environment and something that I feel like I, I learned better in an environment like that. And, you know, for the future, I felt like academics was really good. Before a big game or any game, really, to, to channel your inner dark, zero dark 23, your inner LeBron, what do you play or what kind of ritual do you do before a game? Um, my free game ritual is kind of different from probably most people's. I like to be really relaxed, got to take a nap no matter what um you know i probably wake up maybe three hours two hours before the game do my hair makeup which is also <laughs> different um you know I, I like to i like to listen to chill music you know some drake sometimes i'll throw in like adele or something uh, like, that. Yeah. like i need to be real chill, chill before chill. games and then you know we'll turn up when we get on the court oh yeah facts what are some challenges you feel that set that set the WNBA from the nba honestly that question is is hard to answer because I really don't know. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's so much interest for women's college basketball and the fact that it can't translate to the professional game. I think it's just been mind-boggling for everybody, and I think they're they're trying to um, work it out right now. I think they're doing a pretty good job, you know, live streaming games on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're kind of adjusting their marketing a little bit. Um, but I think that girls just need to keep um, busting their behinds in the college, you know, try to get the interest up, and then we're just going to have to keep working on it. Um, in what ways do your parents play a role in your basketball career? Oh, they play every role. Um, you know, my dad, he taught me everything I know. Um, he built my game from the ground up pretty much since I was little. Um, and my mom, I can thank her for, you know, my, my hardworking mentality, my work ethic. You know, she's the one who makes me go run on the track or get on the treadmill when I don't feel like it. Um, she put me on the treadmill when I was like 10 years old. So, you know, I've been in the gym since, uh, you know, I've been little. Um, and then my dad, you know, he just knows so much about the game and he's been able to give me all his knowledge. And I think it's something that a lot of players don't have and it's a huge blessing. Well, I was going to ask that later, being that your dad is former <laughs> NBA player D. Brown, in what ways does that impact your life and career? So not just on the court, but off yeah, the court as no, well. He's, he's been amazing. Um, when I was little, you know, he's my AU coach. Um, so that's also, that's something fun to have, like, to do with your dad. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a huge daddy's girl, so, you know, we got to spend <laughs> a lot of time together in the gym. Um, and then the, the, a lot of the connections he has has been able, you know, sh to, you know, show me, like, what I want to do in the in the future, my next steps. I know I can't be in the NBA, but, you know, he's in the front office now in the NBA, and, you know, that's something that I want to do and be able to watch how he's been able to go from – his, his young time, his prime, mm -hmm. to coaching now, to being in the front office, just to see him build, you know, it's been really cool to watch. Um, as he's gotten older and I've gotten older, I've been able to, to walk that journey with him, and that's been really cool. What are something that you like to do in your spare time that people don't know, or anything about you uh, that many people don't know? Well, I don't know. I'm a pretty boring person, you know, <laughs> ball is really life. I'm always right here in this building. <laughs> um, you know, when I have free time, I like to sleep and watch TV, um, but mostly sleep. Um, I guess one of the biggest things, I mean, if anybody knows me, they'll know that I love to eat. I love food, all types of food. I'll eat and find new restaurants around Durham and stuff like that. So that's one of the things I like to do in my spare time. Okay, so I know you, like you said, you like to watch TV and Netflix. So what are your top three shows that's just on Netflix that doesn't have to be an original? Uh, top three shows on Netflix, Dexter, 
mm-hmm. is one, then Breaking Bad, and then Mad Men, I have to say. What are some of the challenges you face being a woman that's pursuing a basketball career? Um, probably one of the biggest challenges, like you said, just the interest level. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it's hard. Of course, you don't make as much money either. Um, so, like I said before, the academics, you really kind of have to plan way ahead. And I feel like some girls uh, who are athletes don't always think that way. And, you know, to see some of the people I know kind of stuck because, you know, they, they were playing basketball and they kind of, you know, that the ball's going to stop bouncing eventually. And then if you don't have a plan B, then you mm-hmm. kind of don't have anywhere to go. And I think that's the hardest part. And I mean, I think it, 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 the, in the long run, it's a benefit because you do try and go get a good education and make connections and, and, and plan for your future. But I mean, it's something that a lot of the male basketball players don't really have to worry about. Congrats on graduating and enrolling in grad school. Thanks. What do you miss about undergrad and uh, what do you love about graduate school? Uh, what do I miss about graduate school or undergrad? undergrad? Um, the short classes. And I wouldn't say undergrad was easy, but it was easy. <laughs> like you <laughs> can write papers, take a couple quizzes. Um, and then being in like the general population of campus. Um, so like now in grad school, like I feel like I'm like an alien on like a new planet. Um, but I've been able to meet a lot of cool people. So one of my favorite things about graduate school is just kind of being an adult for part of my day, which has been really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've just been able to meet people from all over the world and they're brilliant. They're so smart and I've learned so much in these last like two months. During the summer, what did you do to stay focused on your goal of going to the WNBA? Um, this summer for the whole month of June, I went to LA to stay with my dad and my family. Um, we had, I have two a days every day for the entire month with him. And since he lives in LA, I don't really get that time with him in the gym as much as I used to when I was little. So to be away for a month just with him and be able to be in the gym with him every day, you know, it was really fun. And I, I felt my game grow so much in that short period of time. If you can improve one thing on the court, what would it be? Um... The one improvement I have is just my emotions. Um, you know, I'm a super emotional player. I'm a super emotional person. Um, but sometimes, you know, it kind of takes away from my game. It's something that I've had to work on since I got to college. I think I've gotten way better at it, but I feel like this year, if I can, you know, get over that hump of keeping my emotions in check, then it's going to be a special year for us. There's a biopic being created in your favor 15, 20 years from now. Who would you um, have to enroll? I mean, who would you have to play you? Like, it could be now, but just... Like, the actress? I can have the actress now, now. in like 20 years. Yeah. Oh, Lord. An actress. Um, I like Nia Long, because she's Long. pretty. Oh, yeah. And she can act. And she can <laughs> act. Or Sana because she was Love and Basketball. Oh, Love and so, Basketball. So, you know, she could, she could do yeah. that, too. You know, I've never seen Love and Basketball. Are you serious? Yeah. But you're interviewing all these basketball players? Yeah, I'm going to watch it. I just feel like I already know the movie. By now. Yeah. Have you you've seen Space Jam now, right? Clips. <laughs> yeah, we're, okay. having, we're having a movie night soon. <laughs> now I asked the Twitter fans on Twitter if they had any questions for Lexi Brown and we have a few, so we'll just go into those right now. There goes Will at not playing competitive after transfer tends to hurt people, but you improved. What did you do during your time off to ensure you didn't rest and continue with your progression? Um, well, I guess some people like don't really understand like transfer rules. I mean, yeah, you have to sit out, but like you still are in practice every day and in weights every day. You gotta do all the preseason conditioning. So basically you're doing everything except for playing in the game. And, you know, I mean, not to be rude, like, some people, like, do that anyway, like, as a regular player. <laughs> so, I mean, you just kind of have to, like, stay on top of uh, your workouts. Um, I wasn't able to travel, so that gave me a lot more free time. Um, so I just got in the gym a little extra, um, started training um, with my guy Marcus Hodges. Shout out to him. He, you know, changed my game completely uh, last year. Um, and that was just the biggest thing. I just got in the gym way more than I was able to because of the traveling. How was it having to move place to place at a young age with your father's playing career? Um, it was fun. You know, as a little kid, you don't really get too attached to places. So I was really young when we made all those moves. I think my, our last move, I was still not even in middle school yet. Um, and then when you get to move with your family, you know, it's easy to adapt. And we're a really close-knit group. So being able to just move from place to place was always fun for us. And it was never really a problem. 
Does it add pressure playing basketball knowing your father has such a solid career? Um, no, not really. One, because I'm a girl, so mm-hmm. it's different. I can't imagine yeah. the, how my brother is going to feel. Um, so it's very different. Um, some people would think it's annoying to be called like D Brown's daughter all the time, but I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm his biggest fan. Um, it adds no pressure at all. I mean, it just makes me want to be a, a better player. Shout out to her brother. You're gonna have a lot of pressure. <laughs> um, how does it feel? How does it feel the first time you heard you were given the name Big Shot Brown? Oh. Um, I don't even remember when I got that name. Honestly, it was still at, I was still at Maryland when I got that name. Um, it was really cool. I mean, I think from that point on. I was never really like a big shot maker when I was mm-hmm. like younger playing. So when the fact that it happened in college has been really cool. And then, you know, when that, I got that name, it kind of like when those moments were there, like my teammates knew, like, give Lexi the ball. So that was kind of cool to be able to have that trust for my teammates. J- Just Dennis 11 asks, which player, male or female, do you base your game off of? Um, the male player I base my game off will probably be Damian Lillard. Um, I think he's a great point guard, a scoring point guard. Um, I love I love his game and I love what he brings to the NBA. Uh, female basketball player would definitely be Christy Tolliver. Um, she's a lights out shooter. Um, and she's had a great she had a great career at Maryland and she's having a great career in the WNBA as well. Hoop Girl Twenty Three says I am a fan of yours and I also play basketball. What advice would you give your thirteen year old self today? My thirteen year old self. Um, I would tell my thirteen year old self to not depend on anyone else for your confidence. Um, you know, I, I looked at a lot of my friends that were probably better than me to tell me that like I was doing okay and, and what I brought to the team, you know, was, was good enough. And I never kind of looked within myself and was like, okay, like I'm good at this and I'm just gonna get better at that. I always made, I always had to run it by like my friends and my teammates only because they were better than me. Um, I wish that when I was younger, I just, you know, had enough self-confidence, you know, mm-hmm. to believe in what I brought to the table. And now we'll just play a game of this or that. So basically, it's self-explanatory, just this or that. All right. Would you rather go to the movies or to a concert? A concert. A truck or a car? A truck. Planned or spontaneous? Like an outing? Mm, Spontaneous. Spontaneous? Early mornings or late nights? Late nights. (laughs) I'm not a morning person. (laughs) No, not at all. (laughs) Math or English? Math. Um, Scary movie or comedy? Scary. Winter or summer? Winter. Twitter. Cuter clothes. What is that? You get to wear cuter clothes. Oh, yeah, cuter clothes, winter. definitely. And you don't have much work to do. Twitter yes. or Snapchat? Ooh. Mm. That's a hard one. That is. I like, okay, I like to post on Snapchat, but I like to be on Twitter. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. So, I'm gonna, I'll pick Twitter. You just like Twitter? Yeah. I was surprised I thought you would say Snapchat. I know, but I like, I don't. Yeah, Twitter is better than like Snapchat. It's so funny. Yeah. I just go on Twitter to laugh. She laughs at my tweets too, so I'm just gonna. Beyonce concert or Rihanna concert? Oh. <laughs> Rihanna concert. Rihanna? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just let that one uh. go. <laughs> Breakfast or dinner? Breakfast. Chris Brown or Trey Songs? Chris Singing Brown. Wise. Chris Brown. Chris Brown, okay. Yeah. This is Barbara DeJour, and this is Lexi Brown, and you're watching Dota TV. Good. You've never seen Space Jam? Yeah, hold on. I wanted to like... I've seen clips. Oh like, I've seen yeah, all I, seen, yeah, I, I saw Space Jam when it came out. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I-